Hello boys and girls and welcome to lesson three. In lesson three we're going to continue working on ratios and rates and right now the more specific uh, skill that we're going to try to do is just to bring everything down to a unit rate. Okay, unit rate just like we did in the previous video. Okay, where we brought down everything to the simplest form to a unit rate. How many per one? Okay, per one hour. How many miles per hour? How many slices of pizza per person? How many, um, could I say, I don't know, how many chocolate bars per dollar? Just, we're trying to bring everything down to a one, okay, ratio. So let's take a look here. First, we have to define what a fraction is, what a rate is, and what a unit is. I'll turn the camera off and let's get to work. Okay, let's begin by defining what a fraction is. A number that represents, what is a fraction? A number that represents part of a whole or part of a set. There you have it. So a fraction is it's a part. It's only a part of a set or a part of a whole. As you can see here, half, three quarters, again three quarters, and here actually it's an improper fraction that would be 15. Then what is a ratio? Well a ratio is a comparison of two quantities, two things that we're counting. A comparison of two quantities by division. We divide them, as you can see here, okay, 2 over 3, but that could also be divided if we wanted to get a percentage or a decimal. Okay, so that is what a ratio is. Now let's look at rate. A rate, well a rate, boys and girls, is a ratio. So a rate is a ratio. Comparing two quantities, as we did up here, compared to, but with different kinds of units. So we might be comparing miles to hours. We might be comparing uh, feet per second. So we're comparing distances with time. Okay, we might be comparing uh, apples to days. How many apples do you eat per day? So it's two different types of units. So it is a ratio comparing two quantities with different kinds of units. So then what is a unit rate? Well, a unit rate, as I mentioned before, unit means one. A unit rate is a rate that is simplified so that it has a denominator of one. So we bring it right down to one. A rate that is simplified so that it has a denominator of one. As you can see here, 12 miles, oops, 12 miles per hour, okay? If we had 24 miles over two hours, we would want to bring it down until we have one at the bottom. Over here, we have 36 miles for every three hours. We simplify it down, so we have 12 and one, as you see here, okay? So that's the unit rate. Now let's practice. Desiree typed 15 character text messages in five seconds. So 15 character text messages in five seconds. So how many? 15 in 5 seconds, right? So what do we need to do in order to simplify this? Well, as I mentioned in the previous video, I said that you have to look at the first number and see if the second number is a factor of the first number. 5 is a factor of 15. So if I were to divide it, I would get 3 over 1. And that would be my unit rate. So she can do 3 character texts in 1 second. What did I do? What operation would you use to write the fraction in simplest form? Division. And there you have it. That's page one. I hope this makes sense to you. If it doesn't, please rewatch the video. Okay, let's jump ahead now to page 32. This is page 32, uh, question A and B. All right, again, we're looking for the unit rate. Emma downloaded 35 songs in 5 minutes. 35 in 5 minutes. How many songs did she download per minute? 35 songs per five, 5 minutes. Now again, let's check. Is the first number, sorry, is the second number a factor of the first number? It is. Can we divide? Yes, we can. When we divide, we get 7 over 1. Correct? So, she was able to download 7 songs Okay, per minute. Number two, Jonathan is baking several loaves of bread to sell his bakery. 
He used 9 cups of water and 12 cups of whole wheat flour. How much water was used per cup of flour? Okay, 9 cups of water and 12 cups of whole wheat flour. So there is our, there's our ratio right there. Okay, so we have 9 cups of water and 12 cups of whole wheat flour. Okay, so simplify. What is the greatest common factor of 9 and 12? If you're thinking 3, you are correct. These are both products of 3, of the multiplication table of 3. When we simplify 9 over 12, we get 3 over 4. And our question is, how much water was used per cup of flour? How much water? Well, per cup of flour. We actually get a fraction here, boys and girls. We use 3 quarters of a cup. Okay, three quarters of a cup. This is how it's simplified. We use three quarters of a whole cup. Okay, so 0.75, 0 0.75 of a cup. We didn't actually use a whole cup of water per flour. So that would be your answer. As you can see, you're not always going to have a whole number. Sometimes it's okay to just end with a fraction. So three quarter cup of flour, three quarter cup of water per cup of flour. Okay, let's go to page 33. Let's read it together, page 33. A hummingbird's heart rate while resting is about 7,500 beats every 30 minutes. How many more beats does a hummingbird's heart beat in 60 seconds than a human's heart beat? Okay, here we would have to compare a human's heart rate to a hummingbird's heart rate. In order to solve this problem, you have to take a look at the information given above the question on page 33, where we're told how, what an adult heart rate beats at and how it is compared, okay, to a baby's heart rate, okay? It's compared adults to a baby's heart rate. So you see how it's compared, and then you see how it's done here. Follow these steps to solve this question. Now we're not going to use a baby's heart rate. Oh, sorry, now we're not going to use an adult's heart rate. We're just going to use the baby's heart rate and compare it to the hummingbird's heart rate, okay, by following these steps. I believe you guys can do this on your own. I'm looking forward to your answer. That's it for today's video.